everybody, it's me, Everyday Nerdy here, and today we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be doing a sword here, and this sword was requested by Off Earth 3D. Real cool dude, I'll have his link in the bio down below, so you guys can check out his stuff, real neat stuff over there. And here we go with the sword. I'll be actually doing this, it won't be just a time lapse of me talking over, so that's one of the biggest differences, so stick with me. Alright, so in order to do this sword, we want to create some form of a symmetry for the sword. So first we're going to start our sketch, and then we're going to create a line. I also added, as you can see, when I press something on the keyboard, it will tell you. And then to create a line, the shortcut is L, drag it down, let's make sure it is parallel, hit escape. Okay, um, I think escape should do it. Um, let's see if that's a bit centered. That's kind of as centered as it's going to get, so I'll accept that. And now the next thing is we're going to create, uh, let's see, it's not, ooh, not a spline, it is, uh, let me see here, it's taking the time, a spline, this one. I like this one because it gives you a bit more control on the spline and it looks less strange. Like on the other spline tool, when I adjust it, if I adjust it too much slightly one way, it, it can get real weird and like just like gets all funky. This one you'll see when I adjust it. Uh, here we go. Hit this check mark. You scroll up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. When I adjust it here, you're gonna see that when it, it it's just a lot more smooth when adjusting. It's more, I guess, elegant you could say. And overall, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. L for line, hit here, close this, that's done. Now we're going to extrude, uh, here we go, here, let's do symmetry. Um, so I'm currently, for Fusion, I have it displayed on the second monitor, and I've noticed it acts a bit funky when I do right clicks and whatnot, which is why some things don't show up how they need to show up. Okay, so uh, Fusion took a little, you know, timeout break. It got frustrated with me, so I am back. I had to reset it, and we're going to now extrude. Let's go back here, click this, let's rotate it ever so gently, because I kind of still, I'm not too good at the, mo the, the, I get people motion sickness, basically, when I use Fusion. So, okay, new body, yes. So now for swords, the only reason I'm doing it this particular way, which you'll see I'm about to do a construct here, is because this blade is like, it looks like this. It's not where it can be a block and you just chamfer the, the sides, and so you have that nice chamfer outside. Like a blade like that is kind of like, um, uh, I think Ocarina of Time, uh, well, Zelda, basically, Link's Blade. I think it's kind of like that, where you can just chamfer the edges. You could just, you know, sketch the blade and just chamfer the edges and make sure they touch, and it'll be fine. But this blade is not like that. It has more of a diamond shape. So now I'm going to project these corners onto the sketch so I know when I draw my line. So I'm going to first do the cut so you can see it. Do L for line. But I don't like how thick I made it because it just looks too much. Um, but I'll fix that in a second. Uh, so now we go to, now I gotta do a mirror line. Beep. Let's do this thing here. Beep. Okay, let's hit mirror. I'm gonna select this line. And this is my mirror line. And we have this. Okay. Um, so now we have that finished sketch. Now I'm gonna go to sweep. Take this in that corner. Rotate this up ever so slightly. Select my path, which is do 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 do. You can just select this as your path. Like you can select the body or like the actual path you did, the line. Either way, it's all the same. And as you can see, I am now going to hit cut, and I have that diamond shape. And you're gonna be like, oh, it's not a diamond because I'm still missing the other part. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Here, hit body, rotate so slightly, uh, hit the object, select the mirror plane, which would just be the opposite side, then hit joint, 
And bam, look at that rhombus. So, and oh, it looks like it's overlapping a bit. So, let me go in here, hit delete, and bam, wow. That's another way to solve the problem. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you got that. Woo, look at that. Look at that sword. Okay, cool. Looks very, very cute. Now, this next step I'm about to do. So before I was like, oh, it just makes more sense to have everything on a sketch. And that only caused me problems. So I'm going to do everything on a separate sketch this time. Because I'm trying not to repeat my problems. So here we got, um, let's go create a sketch. Let's go to our original sketch and try to project that symmetry line. Because this is the line that's going to be what we use for mirroring for everything. So, here we go. Ugh, my neck. Um, what am I doing again? Projecting, yes. I lose track of what I'm doing very easily. Hit OK. So now we have that projected. And now I'm going to create the handles. So, let's just do this. Boop, 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 boop. Just create handles here. We'll give these guys measurements in a bit because I prefer them to be more exact. And let me hide this body. Oh no, I made this. I gotta undo this situation right here. So let's see if I can undo. Oh, actually, let's get to that later. Okay, so um, let's do. Let's have these be uh, 1.5 and then the height be, let's do 2. So let's do 2 for each one. 2 here. Uh, let's do this one be 1.5. Okay. And let's do this be 2. And let this be 1.5. Yeah, since we're not doing that skippy timeline power or whatever, you get to see all the repeats over and over. And now let's add the line. So this is where it gets kind of weird because I can't tell if this is supposed to be a straight line or a slight curve. I feel there's a slight curve. So I'm going to do a slight curve with where is my new spline tool that I like fit control point spline control point spline I can't read okay so we go here let's curve it up a little bit and let's hit this checkbox so it's a slight curve it's not even slight I hold on this is not even curves let's let's actually curve it yeah okay there that's better and then let's do another one. Well, this part looks more straight. So yeah, this one looks more straight. So then I'm going to go here and make sure I'm even with that. Go in there. And then I'm going to hit this checkbox. Do, 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 do. And then here, this guy is a... Uh, shoot, what is the word for it? I don't even know the word for this type of shape. Ah, oh, shoot. It's not trapezoid. It's like a different. Oh, I used to. It's just, it's just the polygon. Let's just say that. Okay, this one we're gonna have because this looks like a little rectangle thing here. And so I know you're saying like these are all squares. I'm like I know they're all squares, but watch them become way more than squares. And now that I actually go back and I look at this, I missed one. So let me actually get. The measurements of this guy. Let's do two. Oh, shoot. 2.4. And then what is the. I hit D also for measurements. Just in case um, you can't, you can't um, see the numbers that are popping up. 6.5. Okay, cool. So let's do another one here because this looks like. Uh, it should be down here. It looks kind of uneven what I did. So my apologies. Here and then let's hit D. This is supposed to be 0.65. Enter and this is supposed to be 1 1.4. Uh, let's see if that's correct. I should have 
No, not 1.4. 2.4. This shows how bad my memory is. I have to write everything down. If I don't write it down, I forget it. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do the revolve tool. Let's do, oh, wrong button. Okay, oof. Ooh, oof. Revolve. Okay, so this guy isn't fully closed. I have to fix that later. But in the meantime, let's do revolve, 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 revolve. Um, and here. And let's. Oh, I have my body's invisible. That's why. And I don't need that one invisible. And then we hit boom. New body. Okay, so next thing is this guy. Why is this guy not letting me click him? Uh, it looks like it could be because... Oh. Uh, okay, it, I think it's just a weird touching thing. At first I thought because it wasn't closed, but that looks definitely closed. So, oh, it could be also because I have that sketch open. So, but either way, so when you do a revolve, since these two are touching, you have to revolve them separately. And also, when you're doing these squares, you saw how when I did the square, I started like a square here. And then when I started the next square, I made sure I was touching the other square perfectly. You gotta do that. If not, when you join the bodies, you're gonna get an error. And I didn't find a solution for the error other than doing it exactly how I just did it. So please pay attention to that one detail. Well then if you don't want to combine the bodies, you don't you don't have to. It's only if you want to combine the bodies. I mean we'll find out if mine get the same error. So this one you gotta do new body because you wanna do separate fillets. So now I'm gonna hit F. Let's do F here. Um, these, why do they look slightly different in size? Oh, no. 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 There. Okay. Um, no. Hmm. They look, what? Hmm. So, I might just do the fillets individually. So, I'll do this guy and then this guy. Let's do him. Okay. That's a little bit too much. Uh, let's go a little bit back. There, that looks good. Okay, another fillet here. 0.25, that looks good. Little fillet here. Oh god, no! Okay, gotta get that. Let's see how that looks. That looks good, okay. Um, so that fillet was done. Let's do another fillet here. And this one's a bit, yes, a little thinner. Not thinner, smaller. Another fillet here. Let's do this one. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, 0.8 there. This one's going to be good. Now this one, same. It's rinse and repeat, baby. So I'm going to do this one 0.8 so it matches the other one. I thought they were the same size. That's weird. So maybe 0.75 is a better one because then you don't see the line at all okay you could just do the fillets all at once but sometimes I get paranoid and I just do them individually because I'm not the brightest child um here 0.75 oh I guess they are slightly different I didn't realize it oopsie daisy um, yeah oopsie daisy Okay, and then, voila, you have your handle right there. And let's see if we can combine bodies successfully. Boom, combine bodies. Voila. Trust me, if you don't do the rectangle part here like how I described, this one part is going to throw errors because the lines are too close together. So to avoid that headache, just try to do the rectangles, making sure they're touching, because then that makes it a lot easier. So, because I'm doing things a bit slower, that's going to be all for this tutorial, and, well, I, I don't really consider these tutorials, I find these more like walkthroughs on how I do things, because as you can see, I'm still learning, 
there's some things where I get stuck at. But um, we'll continue this again, and there's going to be a part two for this and a bunch of other stuff. I'm still working on the Gundam. You see my Instagram, it's a bunch of fails recently, but I'll get one printed eventually, so... Bye guys, until next time.